I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and semantically correct than about being morally right. Okay, take that on, Kelsey. This was laughable. Of course, every elected official has an obligation to both be moral and be accurate in the statistics that they're citing. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, not only has been infactual in uh, mul multiple of the claims she's made, she doesn't correct herself. The Washington Post ends up correcting her. Yeah, stay on that for a second. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg in The View actually said to Cort Cortez, quote, sit still for a minute and learn the job. I mean, again, we appreciate her passion, but it's really about what she's doing is minimizing her falsehoods. As Charlie Kirk has said, she's constantly wrong, but never in doubt. I mean, remember last year, Kelsey, she said we gave the military a $700 billion budget increase? They didn't, but that, that was for the entire budget for all national security. It included the Pentagon. And then she said there's some kind of $21 trillion pot of money at the Pentagon of waste. No, those were accounting, uh, basically, problems, uh, bookkeeping problems that included double counting money that went in and out the door at the Pentagon. Um, you know, and I tell you, it goes on and on. That $32 trillion price tag for single payers over 10 years, the $21 trillion figure is over 17 years. I mean, you're right, Kelsey, doesn't acknowledge her mistakes. Go ahead. She doesn't. And what should be worrisome to Americans is that actually some of the more established Democrats looking at 2020 are uh, taking a cue from her. They're seeing that uh, some of her uh, very far left ideas are gaining traction, are gaining steam, and they're supporting them. And I think if they continue down this road, Americans are going to have a very simple choice when it comes to uh, 2020, and that is whether or not they want to be taxed more, yeah. upwards of seven. 70% or less. Again, that $21 trillion was basically not having the paperwork for to account for money that went in and out the door of the Pentagon over a 17-year period. It's not a pot of money at the Pentagon that's a, a waste. You know, she also said that basically she wants to make the U.S. like Sweden. Uh, let's listen to this soundbite. Watch. We have in mind, uh, and what of my and my policies most closely re resemble what we see in the U.K., in Norway, in Finland, in Sweden. All right, Sweden practically has a flat tax. It has two brackets. The middle class pays a lot in taxes, so she's saying that the middle class will have to pay more for her policy ideas? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez isn't alone in citing countries like Sweden as models for socialism. But in, in reality, Sweden is not a socialist country. According to the Heritage Foundation's uh, Index of Economic Freedom, their economy is actually more free than ours is here in the United States. They are ranked 15, where the United States is ranked 18. So they do support free market policies. They, uh, they do have business-friendly policies. So again, I think it's really disingenuous for Democrats to be uh, pretending that these countries uh, are, are some sort of socialist utopia, because really they support a lot of similar policies that are good for our economy here as well. Wow. Yeah, and Sweden doesn't have a minimum wage. I mean, you know, to your point, quickly, final point, the prime minister of Denmark a few years ago said, stop it, Bernie Sanders. We're a capitalist free market. We have a big welfare state that's paid for by our success. Right, Kelsey? He did, and okay. uh, that's the thing about many of these countries. They do, they are capitalists. Okay. Uh, they do support free markets, and uh, they, they own that. <laughs> Kelsey Harkness, great to see you. Come back soon. Thank you, Liz. Now another headline.